Chapter five is about managing stress. Can you tell us more about that? Okay, chapter five, I have written all about stress. So what, how, and why of the stress, the physiology behind stress, how it affects our human beings and how it is leading to lifestyle disorders and how and why yoga is a very good practice to manage stress in our lives. We think that stress is all bad, but all stress is not bad. We need some kind of stress to step out of comfort zone, to do better, to achieve something in our life. For example, we have exam stress or someone is uh, giving a speech, we feel uh, stressful. So this is a good stress. This is a positive stress in our life, which helps us to achieve something and which is called you stress. But the stress which affects our mind, body, our emotions, which affects our health is de-stress. Now, um, if someone is going through a uh, stress, the person can feel anger, irritation, irritability, any health issues. And that is acute stress. But that stress, if remains for longer uh, time, it becomes chronic stress, which is again leading to a lot of lifestyle disorders like hypertension, diabetes, strokes, migraine, obesity, and how yoga helps um, in managing stress is all these practices of pranayam, meditation, or asanas. This helps to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which uh, activates the rest and digest signal in our body, which tells our body that the stressful situation of you are out of danger. And then um, it really helps to manage all those physiological changes happen due to stress, like our blood sugar levels or heartbeats or muscle becoming tight. And that is how yoga helps in managing stress very well.